Hey guys, what is up? It is April 1st, 2024, and welcome to a brand new and only one day belated Director's Cut Update Vlog. I'm Kevin Director, and it is good to be back to doing the update vlogs on more or less their regularly scheduled program. Now, for those wondering, will the update vlogs continue on July 1st and October 1st like they are next uh, semester? Then yes, they will. The only reason I did it a day late is because I had a lot going on, all right? I had a lot going on at work, I've been working out, I've been helping my folks whenever they need help. Not to mention, I've been getting this house up and running to be 100% operational, and I'm proud to say that it is now at the 96 to 97% operational capacity. So that means only a few minor things are left. So even though a lot of people think, oh, that's not a lot, trust me, it's the little bit that goes a long way. Now, for those wondering, yes, I was at WeebCon last weekend, but will I be making a WeebCon cosplay music video? Unfortunately, the answer is no. I will explain more about that once I get done with the update portion of this Director's Cut update vlog. Now, that means going over convention scheduling, uh, what projects are coming down the pipeline, and also what's going on with me personally as well as professionally. So that being said, for those wondering what kind of cool cons you can expect to see your favorite director at, then prick up your ears because these are the cons I'm going to be at. Right out the bat in April, I'll be appearing at SumiCon in the City of Sin. SumiCon will be serving as the season premiere of the 10th season of the Director's Cut cosplay music video season, and I cannot think of a better way to start it with my first time filming in Las Vegas. It's actually been 15 years since I went there and visited my military buddy, Dan Kearney. So I'm excited to go back. And more importantly, I'm excited because I get to room up with and work with the likes of the LA Explorer and SKDR Films. For those wondering, these are great cosplay videographers in the cosplay community with over 100,000 subscribers on their YouTube channels. I'm also gonna be seeing if they can help me potentially find ways to get 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel since I only have less than 34,000 subscribers to hit that mark. So hopefully I can get more subscribers this year. So please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Then after SumiCon, I'll be taking a little bit of another hiatus until May. Now, there is a con that I might be appearing at at the beginning of May that was brought to my attention by Where to Waifu. I'm gonna be talking to my manager and agent of Loyal KNG, seeing what they say about the convention. And if everything's good, then I will be announcing that convention on my Instagram and social media pages. But for sure in May, I will definitely be at KomochiCon, where I got approved as press. Now, KomochiCon is another 18 and up lewd style convention that is actually run and founded by Juliette Michelle, the number one name of lewd and etchy style cosplay. I'm excited because I actually went there last year when it was called Waifu Expo, so this will be the first time of me actually filming there. So for those at KomochiCon, thank you for approving me as press and also my colleague, Fox Ms. Prime. We're definitely gonna create a lot of great content and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone there. I am also excited to announce that I'll be coming back to Comic Palooza. No, I'm not making a cosplay music video there, but I will be cosplaying and working with others on their content. The only content I will be making for my YouTube channel is a skit where I get to debut a brand new cosplay. Brand new cosplay, what? Especially since I've been working out and slimming down, and by the way, I'm down to 208 pounds. Thank you, Tonal. Promotional product placement. But I'm also excited because at Comic Palooza, I finally get to meet and do a photo op with the one, the only Robert England, the man, the myth, the legend, the person who played the demon of nightmares, Freddy Krueger. I'm excited about that, all right? And in June, there will be no cons as I'll be taking yet another hiatus to focus on my job at MD Anderson because around that time, we're winding down to the end of the fiscal year where I have to start working on my self-evaluation and uh, also finishing up all my goals for basically my job at MD Anderson. Another set of videos I'm gonna be releasing every week is the Cosplayer of the Week. So every week, you're gonna see a brand new cosplay reel on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram account, and on my TikTok page. So if you wanna see who the Cosplayer of the Week is, be sure to follow me on all of these amazing pages. Another set of videos I'm gonna to try to work on is of course maybe one or two new skits and a couple of new unboxing videos. Aside from that, the rest of this quarter is gonna be me focusing on getting my house 100% on operational, finishing up some cosplays for Power Morphicon, and last and certainly not least, I'm excited to say uh, continuing my workout journey with Tonal. Now, for those wondering about WeebCon, where I stand with that and my experience there, um, Originally, I applied for press, but I think I was denied press because I was offering, you know, paid photo shoots at the time. Now, was I a little bit disappointed about not getting press? Yeah, I mean, it happens. But still, I persevered, I bought a normal badge, and I had Where Do Waifu and Loyal KNGs for helping me get Foxman's Prime a press pass. So guys, thank you so much. And I also want to thank Luck with the Lion and Alex for letting us crash at their place. And last night, at least, I want to thank the two cosplayers 
uh, for allowing me to do their photo shoots for them. I appreciate it and for not canceling on me at the last second. I, I really truly appreciate it. Now, the week before the con, there was a lot of posts that WeebCon mentioned. Uh, rules and regulations that were brought up by the Gay Lord Texan, where the location was. Now, I had filmed at the Gay Lord up for KatsuCon many, many years, and I thought, you know what? I have to film at the Gay Lord. But when they released all these rules and regulations, like you can't wear anything bunny related, no bunny ears, no bunny outfits, you can't do cosplay reenactments, you can't do this, you can't do that, and if you wanna do a photo or video shoot, it'll cost you $1,700 to do properly. I was like, what the heck? That's not okay. But then again, you know what? I'm like, I'm going anyways. I'm gonna determine if I can or cannot do these photo shoots, but either way, I'm gonna to try to. So I went, I waited in line for my normal badge for about an hour and a half, which was terrible. And even more so was the parking situation. Parking was a nightmare, but still I persevered. I went to the atrium where I wanted to shoot to see how I felt about it. And I had heard from so many others that a lot of the security guards and the staff of the Gaylord were very rude and very standoffish with any of the people attending the con. So at that point, I decided to cancel my cosplay music video. And it just didn't feel right promoting the Gaylord Texan. I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. When you're that standoffish with cosplayers, attendees, and guests of a convention, but not your normal clientele, that's kind of a discrimination in a sense. Uh, I mean, I get it, you have values, but the thing is the Gaylord up in National Harbor and the other Gaylord hotels don't treat their guests like that. So you don't have the right to do so either. I mean, granted, I understand rules and regulations, but when you do it like just at the drop of a hat, that's not okay. Another thing I wanted to bring up about uh, WeebCon was there was a lot of things that weren't really, you know, organized well. For instance, was the cosplay contest. From my understanding, one of the contestants uh, won best in show, but they weren't given anything. No certificates, nothing. So it's just like, you won, we'll send it to you later. And it's like, I've seen plenty of cosplay contests in my near 20 years experience of going to conventions as the wall clearly illustrates. But when you don't have even your awards ready, there's something wrong. And a lot of people were asking me, especially photographers and videographers that actually did the smart thing and go to WonderCon instead. So they asked me, is it worth going to WeebCon? There are two answers for that. If WeebCon does take place at the Gaylord, the answer is a hell no. So for photographers and videographers, if you do go, they might be a lot more stricter with the atrium location and uh, they probably will not treat you with the greatest of respect as they do with their normal clientele. Uh, as for cosplayers, um, it's either hit or miss in all honesty. If I ever went back to WeebCon, it would just be to get an autograph for a day and bum a badge off one of my colleagues and just go in, go out, and be done with it. But aside from that, I went to WeebCon only once. I worked for them. I didn't have a bad experience working for them, but to be on the other side of it, to see how they run things and to see how the Gaylord treated their, uh, the, their guests for the convention, it just... It just didn't seem like a good event. And that's why I decided to not make a cosplay music video. I was looking forward to it. I had high hopes for it. And uh, alas, my hopes and dreams were dashed. But I was fortunate enough to work with a couple of people and my best friend Foxmas Primetime on their content. So thank you guys for uh, being there for me. And uh, I really do appreciate it. So aside from that, that is not only my update vlog, but also my brutally honest review of WeebCon as a convention. So guys, if you like this update vlog and wanna check out my other vlogs, you can click the links right here. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified of other videos like this one. And aside from that, this is Kevin Rector saying stay safe and I'll see you all on the next update vlog. Peace out y'all.